Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and welcome to another edition of the Magic the Gathering Market Watch. Yet again, we have a lot to look at today. We have new commander decks out there circulating that a lot of people are picking up new cards to put together. Zendikar Rising just released about a week ago. In this video, I'm going to work in the Zendikar Rising prices, but I'm not going to work in the prices for the cards from the list or the Zendikar Rising commander decks yet, since they're still trying to find their price point. Quickly though, before we get into all the details, if you go to FlipSideGaming.com, you can use the Heroes promo code to save 10% on orders over $10. And currently, you can pre-order Commander Legends there if you want to pick up a draft booster box. It's going to come to $120.150 after you use the Heroes promo code. The collector booster boxes will come to $220.95, and that does include shipping in the United States. Also, too, whenever you use the promo code, it does support the channel, which is always appreciated. So thank you. And without any further ado, let's get into it. We're going to begin, as we always do, with Standard. And this time we're looking at the top five Standard legal cards that have lost value this week. All five cards today are going to be Zendikar Rising cards that are starting to lower in price now that more packs are being cracked. So let's see what's going on this week. Number five, Forsaken Monument. It goes down to $24 to $10. This is good in certain commander builds. Actually, this card alone has already added interest to the already popular commander deck, Kozilek the Great Distortion. Number four is Seagate Stormcaller. This is the second of four mythics you're going to see on this list today. It goes down 232 to 641. And that's not too unusual. Basically, mythics typically have higher price points during the pre release season. Once packs are cracked and cards circulate, they begin to normalize like this one is. So, this is already seeing play in standard Demir Control and other places. And it's already seeing some commander play too, especially in the Verisol the Split current builds. Number three, this is a solid commander card for a lot of different builds in commander. It had a little bit of a high price point and it's normalizing now, but this is Lithoform Engine. Expect to see a lot of this at the commander table. It goes down $245 this week to $20.91. Number two is Morag Fury of Akum. This goes down $250 to $10.11, and we have another mythic going down in value, but this card is seeing a lot of play already in commander. It is shaping up to be a fairly popular commander but it's also in the 99 of a lot of different builds. Some existing builds like Lord Wind Grace and more, but also some new builds, and those include Omnith Locus of Creation and Obun Moldaya Ancestor. You're going to hear that name a lot in this video. A lot of players are either trying to build from scratch around that card or looking for upgrades for that land's Wrath commander deck. And number one is one of the new dual lands. It is Clearwater Pathway down 264 to 499. These cards are super sweet, but they are rares. They're not mythics. So if they do have a little bit of a higher price point early on, stands to reason as packs get open, you may see them dip a little bit. This one though is seeing a ton of play already. In standard, you can find this in Saltai Midrange, Saltai Control, Demir Control, Demir Rogues, and more. And of course, it's also seeing Commander play too. And that takes us to the top five standard legal cards that have gained value this week. Number five is Zagadim's Awakening. Now, here's a mythic from Zendikar Rising actually going up in value. This increases $1.82 this week to $12.74. And that's because it is seeing a ton of play all over the place. In standard, it's in Demir Rogues, Demir Tempo. Many times in Rakdos Midrange and more. Pioneer, it's in Mono Black Tempo and more there. Modern, it's in Lurus Death Shadow and also other decks in that format. Even seeing some legacy play already. In Commander, sure you can find it there too. It's in Anawan the Rune Thief builds. That's another commander you're going to hear a lot of today. That is the front facing commander for the Sneak Attacks and a Carizing Commander deck. And again, some players are trying to upgrade the deck that's there. Others are trying to build a new one from scratch. Also, you'll find this in Aura Skyclave, Hierophant builds, and more. Number four is Brazen Borrower from Throne of Eldraine. It goes up 252 to 1954. This card is actually being reprinted on the list. And the copy they're reprinting is the showcase copy, interestingly enough. Now, this card is wildly popular right now. In standard, it's in Adventure Builds, Demir Rogues, and more. Also sees play in Modern and Legacy. And has seen increased commander play now in Anawan the Rune Thief Builds and Tazri Beacon of Unity decks. Number three is Rankle Master Pranks of 307 to 1127. Another card you're going to find in Demir Rogues. This is also in Mono Black Aggro and more in standard. As you may have noticed, you're not seeing as many cards this week that are popular in ramp builds. And that's because Uro Titan of Nature's Wrath, of course, was banned this week. Now, I do think ramp builds in standard could still be very viable, 
But this week, the hot thing truly is that Demir Rogue's deck. We'll have to see how it pans out ultimately. Aside from Standard, this also sees play in Pioneer, Mono Black Aggro. And in Commander, it's seeing increased play too, again in Anawan and also in Tiny Bones Trinket Thief decks. Number two, Thieves Guild Enforcer, up 374 to 504. Another card you'll find in Demir Rogues, also in Demir Control. In Commander, this is seeing play in Anawan, the Rune Thief builds too. Also in some other builds like Zareth Sand the Trickster, Tazri Beacon of Unity, and a lot more. Number one is Scourge of the Skyclaves. This goes up 473 this week to $18, another new mythic increasing in value. This one maybe was a little underestimated during the pre-release time period. Now people are really discovering what this card can do. For starters, it combos with Archfiend of Despair, which we're going to see later in the video. And in Commander, those two cards could end the game for you if someone doesn't have an answer. In that format, commonly now, you'll find this in Nethroi Apex of Death builds and a lot more. It's also seeing some modern play and legacy play in Death Shadow builds. All right, that takes us to Pioneer and your top seven Pioneer legal cards that have lost value this week. Number seven, Maltani Yevamaya's Avatar from Dominaria. This goes down 86 cents to 350. The main reason this is going down, though, is because it was reprinted in the Land's Wrath Commander deck. This is great in Commander Land's decks and is seeing play in a lot of these new builds. Things like Aboon Maldaya Ancestor, Omnith Locus of Creation, Ashaya Soul of the Wild, and Phyleth World Sculptor. Number six, Gisela the Broken Blade. This is seeing some retraction after recent spiking. It goes down a dollar of six this week to $17. Great Commander card in Kalia of the Vast builds and more. And of course, Kalia of the Vast was reprinted recently in Double Masters, which is why this card got a little hot. Number 5, Urborg, Tomb of Yawgmoth. The Magic 2015 copy goes down $1.08 to $25. The Ultimate Masters copy down $1.12 to $26.28. And here's another card seeing some retraction after recent increases. This is in Mono Black Aggro, Rakdos Pyromancer, and more. Also, it gets play in Modern, Legacy, and Vintage. Plus, it is a highly played Commander card in many different builds. Number four, Cyclonic Rift, the one from Commander 2014. It goes down $1.18 to $23.99. And of course, this was reprinted in Double Masters, which is why this and other variations of this card have been soft recently. It does see a little Pioneer play, sometimes in Wilderness Reclamation. Gets a little modern play in Mono Blue Tron. But you know this is a huge Commander card that sees play in many builds, new and old. Number three is another card reprinted in Double Masters. It is Thought Seize from Iconic Masters. It goes down $1.40 to $17.32. In this sees a ton of play in Pioneer, Modern Legacy, and Vintage. Even a little Commander play at times. Number two is Door of Destinies, the one for Morning Tide. This card's been very turbulent. Goes up, goes back down. This week it goes down $1.46 to fourteen sixty three. And again, we're talking Commander here. This is great in tribal builds like Edgar Markov. And it is seeing some increased play now in Anawan builds as well as Aura Skyclave Hierophant builds. And at number one, why not? Another card that was reprinted in Double Masters, the Scarab God from Hour of Devastation, down $1.47 to $17.08. Most of the time you'll find this in Niv to Light sideboards and Pioneer, but it is a pretty popular commander and also has seen increased play in Anawan the Rune Thief builds. And that brings us to the top five Pioneer legal cards that have gained value this week. And you're going to see from this point forward in the video, again, the key driver for cards going up in value continues to be Commander. Number five is Sword of the Animus. The Arch Enemy Nickel Bolas copy goes up $1.10 to $9.54. The Mystery Booster copy up $1.72 to $9.31. Now this has been a popular commander card in a lot of different places, including Sir Gwen Hero of Ashvale. However, you might be thinking now, okay, this is an opportunity for me to dig for lands, put them directly in play. This might be good in some of those new land builds. And I do think it could be good in some of them, but notice it is a basic land you have to get. Not all land builds are going to be crazy about that because some aren't playing that many basics, so it just depends on the deck there. With that being said, though, it is seeing some additional play in those builds, but it is also seeing additional play in some other decks, too. A few that are more popular right now are Anawan the Rune Thief, Akiri Fearless Voyager, Charix the Raging Isle, and Mirag Fury of Akum. Number four, Scape Shift. Now, this does see modern play in Scape Shift decks, but it's also seeing a lot of increased commander play right now, as you can imagine. The Morning Tide copy goes up $1.16 to 1768. The Corset 2019 copy goes up 204 to 1909. And when it comes to the Commander, this has seen play in lands builds for a long time and other places too. But now it is seeing increased play in decks like Omnith Locus of Creation, Obun Moldaya Ancestor, and Phyleth World Sculptor. Number three, Ramanap Excavator up to 11 to 1138. And it's getting pretty clear now that a lot of people are building land focused decks in Commander, right? 
Now, it does see modern play. You'll find this in Slesnia Titan Field, which is a newer build there. Also, it does see some legacy play too. But obviously, this is a highly played commander card in lands builds and more. Much like the previous card, it is seeing more play now in those same decks. Omnith Locus of Creation, Obun Maldaya Ancestor, and Phyleth World Sculptor. Also, this got a Command Zone podcast mentioned this week, which could have brought some attention to it as well. Number two, surprise, surprise, Crucible of Worlds, Fifth Dawn, goes up 254 to 5211, Corset 2019, up 296 to 3995. Now, this is not really a Pioneer card like most of the cards we're looking at right now in this section, but it does see play in Modern, Legacy, and Vintage. Maybe not as much play as it was seeing a number of months ago there, but it is still kicking around. Of course, the reason it's going up this much right now is Commander sees play in Lands Builds and more there. And in particular, there's new builds pushing this, Omnith Locus of Creation, Obun Maldaya Ancestor, and Morag Fury of Akum, plus others. Beyond that, this also got a Command Zone mention this week. And number one, third verse, same as the first, Omnith Locus of the Royal. This goes up 840 to 1698. Also got a Command Zone mention, but I don't really think this card needed much help. A lot of people were already trying to pick it up. Now, it does see some play in Modern, Five Color Elementals but it is a popular commander, seeing more play now too in Omnith Locus of Creation builds. That takes us to the top five modern legal cards that have lost value this week. Number five is Dark Confidant from Modern Masters. This was reprinted in Double Masters, which is why it has been softer. It goes down 271 this week to 3549. In Modern, you'll find this in Rakdos Midrange, The Rock, and more. Sees play in Legacy and has been seeing more play in Commander recently, especially in competitive decks. Number four, Training Grounds from Rise of the Eldrazi. I haven't seen this card lose this much value in one week in a long time. It goes down $274 to $45, and it is being reprinted as one of the cards on the list, so you do have a chance to see this in your Zendikar set boosters. Now, as for the card itself, it is a big commander card traditionally in Sliver builds, also in Kenrith the Return King, the Scarab God, and much more. It is seeing play in new builds too, like Charix the Raging Isle and Tazri Beacon of Unity. Number three, Guilt Leaf Arc Druid. This goes down $4 to $9. This card had spiked recently, retracting this week. And the spike was due to the fact that a lot of players were speculating that Zendikar Rising would have more of a Druid element attached to it. That didn't really pan out. Maybe we'll see something in Commander Legends, though. Time will tell. But as for right now, this card is soft. It does see play in a number of Commander decks now, including Trulane Teller of Tales that was reprinted recently in the list. Number two is Staff of Domination from Fifth Dawn, down 401 to $60.99. This is a highly played Commander card, but it was spiking recently, so again, I'm not too surprised to see some retraction. This is great if you have extra mana, and it's also a great combo enabler. Many times you'll find this in Savala Heart of the Wilds builds, and that was reprinted recently in Mystery Boosters as well as Jumpstart. Number one is Sliver Legion from Future Sight. It goes up, it goes down, it's all over the place. This week it actually does go below $100, down $540 to $98.89. This card has been hot because Sliver Commander decks have been hot since the reprinting of Sliver Overlord and Sliver Hivelord. That takes us to the top five modern legal cards that have gained value this week. Coming in at number five is Kozilek Butcher of Truth from Modern Masters 2015. It goes up $452 this week to $61.99. This is in Kozilek the Great Distortion builds, like I mentioned, that deck did get a little push recently. It's in some other places too in Commander. Also, this did get a Command Zone podcast mention this week. Number four, Ulamog the Infinite Gyre from Rise of the Eldrazi. It goes up 472 to 5263. And this is another card you'll find in Kozilek the Great Distortion builds in Commander and more. Number three, Aboro Palace in the Clouds. This card was spiking pretty wildly during Zendikar Rising previews. It retracted quite a bit last week, but now it's bouncing back of 483 to 5395. Now this does see a little modern play, I'll give it that, but again, this is moving because of Commander. It is getting increased play there in Omnith Locus of Creation builds. Number two is Archive Trap. This actually sees modern play as well in Modern Mill. See some vintage play too, and it has seen increased Commander play in Bruvac the Grandiloquent Dex. It goes up 625 this week to 2699. And number one gives me an excuse to use my one per video. It is Knowledge Exploitation from Morning Tide going up 798 to 2436. You know if you watch these videos, this was from the time period of Magic where we did have a recession in the game, less packs were cracked, so if these cards weren't reprinted somewhere else, they can get a little spiky if there's some attention on them. And the reason it's moving is Commander. It's seeing increased play there in Anawan the Rune Thief and Zareth Sand the Trickster decks. That brings us to the Vintage Spotlight. This is where we talk about cards that see play in Legacy, Vintage, 93, 94, cards that are popular among collectors, and as of recently, a whole lot of buyouts. And again, you're going to see a number of cards bought out again this week. 
as I have been doing in this section, I'm only going to point out if the card is not on the reserve list since it's just easier that way. First, we're going to start off with a Battle Royale Forest. So, of course, it is not on the reserve list. It is actually a reprinting of a Portal 3 Kingdoms Forest and White Border. Now, it goes up 478 to 648 this week. Basically, this is a situation where the card is just drying up in the marketplace. I'm sure it will go back down quickly. Next, we have Scrubland from Revise. This goes up $5 this week to $234.99. Not a big increase. A lot of these cards have stabilized, but you're going to see as we move on, there are a few of them jumping up in price again this week. Lion's Eye Diamond up 624 to 355.50. This does see play in Legacy, Vintage, and Commander. Mana Drain from Iconic Master is not on the reserve list, and it does see a little Legacy play, but a lot of Commander play, especially in competitive builds. It goes up 753 this week to 169.99. Underground Sea from Revised up 956 this week to 62406. Vampiric Tutor from Eternal Master is not on the reserve list, and you know these tutors are always going to be sought after for commander decks, but this one also sees vintage play too. It goes up 1005 to 13024. Tundra from Revised up 1147 to 44411. Rapid Fire up 1162 this week to 3499. Merchant Ship, this goes up 1278 to 4249. Livonia Salone goes up $12.79 to $107.49. Reverberation up $14 to $69. Acid Rain up $15.11 to $149.95. Repentant Blacksmith. Now, this is the copy from Arabian Nights. It is not on the reserve list. It has been reprinted if you want a cheaper copy. This goes up $16.10 this week to $92. Just goes to show you it's not just about the reserve list when it comes to some of these older cards. Sometimes old copies of cards that are hard to find in good condition that aren't on the reserve list can go up in value too. Here's another example. Nickel Bolas, not on the reserve list. This did get reprinted in the list. The copy from Legends going up 1710 to 11710. Tropical Island from Revised goes up 1975 this week to 56375. Aiden Oakenshield up 2108 to 13788. Aladdin. This is the one from Arabian Nights. It is not on the reserve list. It was reprinted in Chronicles. This copy, though, goes up $23.80 to $60.02. Gaia's Cradle from Urza's Saga. This did get one more reprinting as a judge foil before they closed that loophole. This copy, though, goes up $30.99 to $7.94.99. And this does see play in Legacy Elves and more. It also does see vintage play as well. Great commander card, though, and a lot of different builds if you're lucky enough to have one. Some players are putting this in new builds too, like Omnithlocus of Creation and Ashaya Soul of the Wild. Cabal Ghoul up 3357 to 11247. Sylvan Library from Legends, not on the reserve list. In fact, you can get a copy of this in the upcoming Commander Collection Green. That original, though, is not cheap. It goes up 3770 to 140. Ring of Immortals, this goes up 3980 to 6250. All Hallows Eve, feels like this card always goes up every October. It goes up 43.19 to 350.171. In the Eye of Chaos, up 46.88 to 199.20. North Star, this is the first card in the section that is suffering from more dramatic market manipulation. So what I do with these cards is I will let you know what it looks like they're worth if you're looking at maybe the big websites, but then I'll let you know what I've seen them sell for. In theory, this is going up 53.36 to 199.99 this week. In reality, they're selling for around $100 for high-grade copies. Drop of Honey, this goes up $71.99 this week to $789.95. Land Equilibrium of $78.53 to $249.07, or is it? If you look at actual sales, high-grade copies are selling for about $175. Birds of Paradise from Unlimited. This is not on the reserve list. It's actually a modern legal card, and it got a reprinting recently in the Ornithological Study Secret Layer. But this copy goes up 85.53 to 258.75. Wheel of Fortune, this did get one more printing as a judge foil again before they close that loophole. The revised copy, though, goes up 406 to 231.27. The unlimited copy up 178.92 to 599.50. Although when I look at sales, high grade copies look like they're going for closer to 525. So close, but maybe not quite $600. This does see vintage play as well as a lot of commander play in old and new builds. Nebuchadnezzar. This is not on the reserve list. It got reprinted in Chronicles. This copy from Legends, in theory, is going up 185.92 this week to 199.21, but that's not really the case. If you look at sales, high grade copies are going for about $25. Word of Command from Unlimited goes up 274 to 724. Mm, not really. High grade copies are selling for 250 to 350. 
Jazam Jin. Now this is close. High grade copies are selling for 1400 to about 1550. But if you look at the big websites, it looks like this is spiking a little more beyond that. Going up 303.35 this week to $1,777.29. Ancestral Recall from Unlimited up $400.02 to $2,899.97. Mock Sapphire from Unlimited up $495 to $3,244.99. And finally for this section, Mishra's Workshop in Theory going up $1,640.19 to $5,249.61. But if you look at actual sales, high grade copies are selling between $22.25 and $27.50. And that takes us to everybody's favorite segment, the Commander Spotlight. And we have a lot to talk about. Let's get right into it. Synapse Sliver. This was on the list last week, still going up $1.01 this week to 1847. You'll find this in Sliver Commander decks. Fork from Revised on the reserve list has seen increased play in Calmex, the Storm Sire builds, and more. It goes up $1.03 to $30.62. Damnation for Modern Masters 2017, fantastic board sweep in black for Commander. Even sees a little modern play. It goes up $1.03 to $38.75. Bitter Blossom, this has seen increased play in Anawan, the Rune Thief decks. Also, it's in builds like Alila Artful Provocateur, Yuriko the Tiger's Shadow. That actually just got reprinted in Mystery Boosters not too long ago. And others in the format. Morning Tide goes up $1.07 to $34.95. Modern Masters 2015 up $1.08 to $32.50. Burgeoning from Commander 2016, up $1.10 to $20.85. You'll find this in Lands Builds and more. It has seen increased play in Omnith Locus of Creation, Aboon Moldiah Ancestor, and Phyleth World Shaper. Toxic Deluge. This is the one from Commander 2013. It did get reprinted recently in Double Masters, but it's still going up this week, $1.10 to $22.68. This is another great board sweep in black for Commander. Also sees Legacy play. Coercive Portal. This goes up $1.11 to $8.99. Solid Commander card in a lot of different builds. Sword of Truth and Justice up $1.14 to twenty one eighty four. Another solid commander card here. Sees playing a Trax of Praetor's Voice and Scytherix the Blight Dragon decks. Those are two commanders that were reprinted in Double Masters. And Scytherix also showed up on the list as well. You can find this in other builds too, like Sir Gwen Hero of Ashvale, Kelsey and the Plague, now in a Kiri Fearless Voyager, and more. Liliana of the Vale from Ultimate Masters of $1.14 to $62.94. This is a well-known modern staple. It's in John Dractos Midrange, Orzhov Stoneblade, The Rock, and more. But it has been seeing some more commander play recently in decks like Tiny Bones Trinket Thief. Wayward Sword Tooth, another card that's good in lands builds and other builds too in the format, but it is seeing increased play now in Omnith Locus of Creation, Ishaya Soul of the Wild, Obun Moldiah Ancestor, and more. It goes up $1.18 this week to thirteen fifty six. Edekar Waste from 9th Edition. These Ally Painlands have been hot for a while. Basically, they only see play in Commander. Also, too, 9th Edition just generally has a few cards heating up this week. You're going to see more in this section, but this one goes up $1.19 to $9.99. Grave Pact from 9th Edition. See, there's another one. It goes up $1.20 to $23.99, and this card's been hot off and on ever since the Commander rules change occurred not too long ago. Now, this does see play in a lot of different Commander builds, including Athreos Got a Passage. That was reprinted in Mystery Boosters and also got a foil reprinting in one of the Theros Stargazing Secret Layers. Speaking of Secret Layers, see what I did there? Goblin Sharpshooter from the Explosion Sound Secret Layer. It goes up $1.21 to $16.99. And this does see play in Krenko Mob Boss builds. That was reprinted in Jumpstart. Also many times this shows up in Kelsey and the Plague and much more. Trade Roots from, wait for it, 9th edition. This goes up $1.23 to $4.30. And this is seeing increased commander play in Omnith Locus of Creation and Charx the Raging Isle builds. Patriarch's Bidding up $1.25 to $28.09. This is a good tribal card for commander. This is currently seeing more play in Aura Skyclave Hierophant and Anawan the Rune Thief builds. Elisaurus Shepherd. This is the first jumpstart card you're going to see in this section, but don't worry, there's more coming. That set is still having supply problems. Now, this one's not going up all that much this week, $1.26 to $1.07. But that is an expensive card from a recent release. Wizards has said they are going to get more of the product in circulation. But by the time that happens, you got to wonder if a lot of stores are just going to move on to the subsequent products. There's just so much going on right now. With that being said, this does see some more commander play now in Ashaya Soul of the Wild builds. Also seeing play in Legacy Elves and sometimes Mono Green Cloud Post. Tiny Bones Trinket Thief, another card from Jumpstart, up $1.28 to $46.99. This has been a pretty popular commander. And it is seeing more play now in Anawan the Rune Thief builds too at times. 
Exquisite Blood, this is the one from Jumpstart going up $1.29 to thirty three ninety nine, And this has seen some increased commander play in Vito Thorn of the Dusk Rose decks recently, also showing up in some of the Aura Skyclave Hierophant builds too. Gemstone Caverns up $1.29 to forty nine oh one. This sees a lot of commander play, especially in competitive decks. Also continues to see some modern play, at times in Eldrazi and Taxes and more. Seedborn Muse from 9th edition. It goes up $1.30 to fifteen nineteen. This is being reprinted in Commander Collection Green as well. It is a highly played Commander card though in multiple builds, old and new. Arachnogenesis, popular Commander card that's yet to be reprinted. It goes up $1.31 to nineteen ninety five. Cloud Key from Future Sight up $1.33 to $23.77. This is in a number of builds, including Alsha of the Infinite and Joyra Weatherlight Captain, which was reprinted recently in Double Masters. Goblin Wizard from the Dark. That's another set that's actually a little hot this week. You're going to see a few more cards from this set later, too. This goes up $1.34 to $59.47. It is on the reserve list. This shows up a lot of times in Krenko Mob Boss builds, of course, like we've been saying, that was reprinted in Jumpstart. Also, it has seen a little increased play recently in Tazri Beacon of Unity. Windborn Muse from 10th edition. Many times you'll find this in Queen Marchesa decks and more. It goes up $1.37 to six fifty nine. Helm of Obedience. This is on the reserve list up $1.40 to $44.90. This does see some commander play in a variety of builds. Also sees legacy play in Selesny and Enchantress combo. City of Brass. This is a highly played commander mana based card. Also shows up in Modern Ad Nauseam and Modern and Legacy Dredge. Also got a command zone mention this week. The 7th edition copy goes up $1.50 to $20.99. Phyrexian Tower from Urza's Saga, recently reprinted in Jumpstart. Also, it's on the list too, so you can find it in those set booster packs of Zendikar Rising. It goes up $1.50 this week to $34.99. It sees a lot of commander play, and it is getting some more play now in Aura Skyclave Hierophant builds. Field of the Dead, this goes up $1.63 to $17.80. This is in Lands Builds and Warren Commander. This is also seeing increased play in Omnith Locus of Creation. Surprise, surprise. In Modern, this is getting a ton of play. Uro Piles, Amulet Titan, Selesnya Titan Field, and it gets Legacy play too. Blood Moon from the Dark. This was reprinted recently in Double Masters. It goes up $1.68 though to $54.97. And this card has been seeing more Commander play recently. Again, especially in those competitive builds, that's where you typically find it. But a few examples of decks where it could show up. Krenko Mob Boss, Goto Bandit Warlord, both of those cards were actually reprinted recently too. It's also seen some increased play in new builds like Phyleth World Sculptors, Urzoth Chaos Rider, and Mirage Fury of Akum. Oracle of Moldaya, highly played in lands builds and more in the format, and of course has seen increased play in Omnith Locus of Creation, Obun Moldaya Ancestor, and Phyleth World Sculptor. Also got a Command Zone mention this week. The Jumpstart copy goes up $1.75 to $38. The Zendikar copy up $1.76 to $39.89. Sensei's Divining Top from Eternal Masters up $1.77 to $51.97. Huge commander card, especially good in Yuriko the Tiger's Shadow builds. Also sees vintage play too. Krovax the Curse. This is on the reserve list. Last week it looked like this was targeted for a buyout. It is stabilizing. I wouldn't be surprised to see this lose a fair amount of value next week. But as for right now, this is going up $1.93 to $14.89 week to week. It does see a little commander play, but I do think this was more of a response to the Baron Sengir buyout. Maze of Ith from The Dark, the original copy. This was reprinted though in Double Masters. It is a highly played commander card. Sees Legacy play too. This copy goes up $202 to $29.18. There's Archfiend to Despair. I mentioned this way back at the beginning of the video. It does combo with Scourge of the Sky Clays from Zendikar Rising. This card can be found in Kali of the Vast Builds and much more. It goes up $209 to $22. Rotlung Reanimator. This is a cleric. It goes up $235 to $749. It is seeing some increased commander play now in Aura Skyclave Hierophant decks and also in Taborax Hope's Demise. Food Chain from Mercadian Mass. This did get reprinted in the list though. It goes up $246 to $69.40 this week. Very good combo enabler in the format. Also seeing a little more play in some of the Omnith Locus of Creation builds too. Argothian Enchantress from Urza Saga up 250 to 2570. This is great in those enchantment heavy decks. This has seen more play recently in Commander and Sisse Weather like Captain builds, the ones that use the core set 2021 shrines. Also, this sees legacy play in Slesnia Enchantress combo. Stone Calendar on the reserve list from the dark. This may be a panic buy as people have seen some of the recent buyouts. This goes up 258 to 1792. It does see some commander play though. Titania Protector of Argoth. 
This is a fairly popular commander, and it's another card that shows up in lands, builds, and more in the format. Seeing increased play in Omnith Locus of Creation, a Boon Moldiah Ancestor, a Shia Soul of the Wild, and more. The Commander Anthology copy goes up 210 to 2037. Commander 2014 up 260 to 21 dollars. Ren and Six from Modern Horizons, another card reprinted on the list. It goes up 266 this week to 6154, and this is also seeing increased Commander play now in Omnith Locus of Creation. In Modern, though, you'll find this in Euro Piles, Jund, and more there. It is banned in Legacy, but it does see some vintage play. Personal Tutor, this goes up 279 to 4675. Like all tutors, this is going to see Commander play somewhere at some point. But I do think the reason this has been going up is because it is getting harder to find in good condition. Necropotence, the Ice Age copy up $1.39 to 2716. Deckmasters, Garfield vs. Finkel, that copy only comes in foil. It goes up 298 to 5328. This is a very popular Commander card, seeing some more play now in Aura Skyclave Hierophant builds. Also in Vintage Doomsday decks and more there. Mana Vault, great Commander card, great Vintage card. This is the one from Revised. It goes up 328 to 5599. Felwar Stone, now this did get reprinted on the list, but this original copy from the Dark is going up 376 this week to 1423. This is a highly played Mana Rock in the format. Ink Fathom Infiltrator, this one's from Shadowmoor and Uncommon there. It goes up 411 to 559. And this has seen increased commander play in Anawan the Rune Thief and Xerath Sand the Trickster. Thada Adela Inquisitor up 426 to 999. Another card seeing increased commander play in a couple of the builds we just mentioned Anawan the Rune Thief and Xerath Sand the Trickster. This is also seeing some play in Tazri Beacon of Unity builds too. Flooded Shoreline on the reserve list goes up 467 this week to 957. This does see a little commander play, but has seen more play in some new builds again. Charks the Raging Isle and Omnith Locus of Creation. Keeper of Keys of 483 to 586. This is a rogue, and of course it is seeing some more play now in Commander. You'll find this in Anawan decks, Zareth Sand decks, and Tazri builds too. Mana Vortex, this is on the reserve list from the dark, going up 510 this week to $35. Now this does see some commander play, but I could definitely understand why there has been some at least speculation around the card, if nothing else. If you have a commander deck that cares about lands, this is one way to get lands in the graveyard where you can replay them with things like Crucible of Worlds or Ramanap Excavator. Ultimately, though, I think this is just a spec that dried up more than anything. Rashida Scalbane, another reserve list card that's drying up this week. Again, maybe a panic buy, maybe a targeted buyout. It goes up 527 to 999. It does see a little commander play. Emil the Blessed, another jumpstart card, jumping 1350 this week to 5638. Popular commander and also has seen play in some of the Omnith Locus of Creation builds too. And yet another Jumpstart card, Bruvac the Grandiloquent, going up 3049 this week to 8172. So this is another popular commander. A lot of players have been building around this card for a while. Another reason, though, it is getting a push now is because there is a Zendikar Rising card that does combo well with it. That's Maddening Cacophony. Also, I have seen some players putting this in their Anawan the Rune Thief builds as well. And that brings us to the premium spotlight. I say this every week. I don't like to spend too much time on cards that are rare, those rare promos or foils, because if you don't have a lot of sales of a card any given week online, you don't always get very good data. Worst case scenario, that data can not just be off, but actually be manipulated. But I like to pick out at least a few cards every week that feel like they're moving mostly naturally with the market to look at. This week, I chose two that we discussed previously in the video. The first is Archive Trap, the foil copy from Zendikar goes up $16.15 to $46. And finally, Ink Fathom Infiltrator from Shadowmoor, the foil goes up $24.21 this week to $29.46. That does it for this Market Watch. As always, I appreciate all of you. Stay safe out there. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.